Good afternoon. I want to give an update on a story that I covered on, I believe it was on our live show. And uh, it took an interesting turn, it would seem, today. Uh, so basically what had happened was a young girl, a teenager, was uh, beaten severely uh, as she was walking home from school. And um, I can't show you the video. Not only would YouTube not be good with that, but uh, I don't have any interest in seeing that video again. It is, it is horrific. It is disturbing. It is disgusting. And I, um, I don't know. This took one heck of a, a weird turn, in my opinion. Not a bad one, but a weird one. Um, so as far as the young lady, the last I know and that's based on a statement made by the family attorney, is that she was still unconscious in the ICU. Uh, so I don't have any more updates as far as her condition. I certainly hope that she recovers, and I certainly hope that plenty of people are out there praying for her recovery. But this story took a very interesting turn. I, I think probably a turn for the better, though. As the article is titled, M Missouri Attorney General Bailey an launches investigation to Hazelwood School District DEI after teen beaten on camera. Article says Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey is launching an investigation into Hazelwood School District's diversity, equity, and inclusion programs after a high school girl ended up in the ICU after being beaten by another student. A.G. Bailey announced the investigation into the district's DEI program, stating that it played a part leading up to the beating. I am launching an investigation into Hazelwood School District after a student was senselessly assaulted by another student in broad daylight, Bailey said in a press release. The entire community deserves answers on how Hazelwood's radical DEI programs resulted in such despicable safety failures that has resulted in a student fighting for her life, there must be accountability. On March 11, student Kaylee Gain was beaten by another student in a fight that was caught on camera. Gain's injuries from the beating resulted in her being taken care of in an area hospital ICU for a fractured skull and brain bleeding, according to her, to her family. This is the article, and of course I'll leave the link to this article in the description and in the first comment. The article goes on to say, I am disturbed that it appears Hazelwood School District has ignored long-standing Missouri law and elevated political narrative above student safety. In 2020, the HSD Board of Education adopted a statement of solidarity compelling the district, among other things, to categorize and treat students differently based on race, recruit, hire, and promote staff based on race, and re-evaluate the district's relationship with local police, said Attorney General Bailey in a press release. Notably, during the attack on Ms. Gain, which was captured on video by other students, not a single school resource officer was on scene to protect Ms. Gain or to restore order. The absence of SROs on the scene is directly attributable to Hazelwood's insistence on prioritizing race-based policies over basic student safety. By its actions, H HSD has endangered not only Ms. Gain, but the general school community writ large. It says First Alert 4 has reached out to Hazelwood School District for a comment. So definitely a very, very interesting turn that this has taken. Where will it go? Well, that remains to be seen. But this could be the first of a very, very long line of instances to where, whether it be state, county, local, but individuals, along with people in government, public servants, demanding the end to some of this. Not, I mean, look. I'm not saying that there are no problems when it comes to race and all of that because, I mean, come on. But here's the thing, and I've long said this. You can't stop it that way. You cannot mandate. You cannot make it illegal because you cannot stop an idea. Maybe, maybe the answer 
is to stop holding one person for whatever reason above another person and then pushing it into the other people's faces. Because it would seem to me that that causes far more division than what it causes unity. You know, Morgan Freeman, when asked about race, more or less, and I'm paraphrasing here, said that uh, he wished people wouldn't refer to him as that. that that's, that's not what describes him. You know, he said the best way that we can deal with race and racism issues is to stop talking about it. Not to blow it up and make it a subject at the dinner table. To stop talking about it. Because when you talk about it, you're promoting it. One way or another, you're promoting it. You are, you are challenging somebody to pick a side. And there are a lot of people that would have never thought about choosing a side until they were forced to. And any time that somebody is forced to do something, it's the human natural instinct to push back. They know this. They know this. None of this is by happenstance. None of this is by chance. It is done specifically to divide the people in this nation. And it's not just based on race. They, they intend us to divide each other on every single little bitty thing we can find. We have to be smarter than that. We have to be above that. Anyway... I wanted to pass this on. Definitely an interesting turn in events for sure. Shalom.